Hi Tanya, hi Clint. Oops, mute that. Right, I'm just got to go near the room for a couple of things. I won't be a moment. Back again. Do I want to hear myself talking? <laughs> That's for sure. So, how are you, Clint and Tanya? How are you today? Sunny day down here today, Tanya. How is it up your way? Quite nice here. Yeah, same here. Sunny but cold. About five degrees, that's all we are at the moment. So, but I've got my heater ticking over and the sun's shining in, so it's making it feel warm. Raining there, Clint, over dear. Well, I'm going to be making an upside down doll. I've already made one which I'm not very happy with. I'll show you in a minute. What sort of fire have you got? You got log burner, Tanya? I just got a heat pump. Oh, I can't. Go here. Let's copy. <laughs> Paste. If anybody at the girls list is here, I've sent the link. If you want to come in and join me, 
I've been telling out pictures for art journaling. Yes, a log fire. Oh, nice. So my friend's got one of those, though, and I get too hot. <laughs> I get far too hot with one of those going. So is anybody out there? There's five people here. Who else is going to join in the conversation with us, eh? Be nice to hear you talk. Well, see you talking. <laughs> I haven't done paper crafts, Tanya, for quite a while now. Right. Upside down doll. Let's see if we can get you in the other camera. Let's see what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. Back in there. Oh yeah, I gave up card maze a long time ago, Tanya. Teresa, hello my love, hello my love. How are you, Teresa? I'm watching this. Wobbling a bit, isn't it? See if I can, what I can do. Why is it wobbling? Every time I go into this camera app, it's uh, video. I don't know how to work this now. One, two. Oh. I can't see how to get my camera settings up on this. Advanced settings. Oh, I don't know. No, no, no. Oops, just took a picture of everything. <laughs> no, I don't know how to do that now. Camera doesn't quit. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's another one splitting. Um, Teresa, oh, doing that hand sewing the other day, and it started splitting again. So on goes the plaster. Nothing major. 
Right, I'll show you my first dolly. Now, don't laugh. She doesn't like to be laughed at. <laughs> She's shy. <laughs> She's very, very shy. <laughs> Here she is. Oh, bring her down a bit. See this camera is too close. Can't get it to <laughs> look at her. Poor ugly little thing. Let's do it that way. Let's lie her like that. <laughs> I said to Douglas, she'll fry it now to do it. <laughs> And so that's the one half. <laughs> I think she's funny. And then I don't mind this half so much. Here's the other side of her. And she's asleep. Which meant I didn't have to do too much to the face. <laughs> and there she is, the other side. So, I'm not the cleverest, <laughs> but I gave it a go, but I'm not really happy with it. I also think, I don't know, I might have stuffed her too hard. She's not cuddly. See, the other one hides under there. Can't tell she's there. This one's got a Mrs. Mop hat on that I've sewn in tightly so it can't come off. And I think I would like a skirt to be fuller than that. I don't know. So she's not in bed now, so she can come back out. Oh, yes, now I went and did the skirt upside down. Them eyes should be looking that way. But never mind. Anyway, for the prototype, it's not bad. But <laughs> I'll call her a second damn it, doll. <laughs> but here's one I would like to do now. She looks altogether better like a doll. She's got arms that hang loose. More like a doll that a little girl or two would cuddle more. And there's the sleep, little girl asleep end. So. There they are together. And here's all the instructions. And apparently, they say it's a good idea to trace that face. Now, I haven't got any flesh coloured. I've got calico. And that's what I used on the other one. So, I'll use this calico again. Now, for the dress, I'm not sure. I like this for the night dress. It's um, the, what they call the seer sucker. But I don't know if that's a bit stiff. Can't decide. And then the other part, I was going to make a plain navy. And that will brighten up nicely with the lace going on it. That's navy blue, that is. Not black, it's navy blue. Put it that way so it looks better. So there's those two. But I do have... There's one like that. And that would actually hang quite nicely 
it would drape more. And that's got red and blue and green in it. And if I use that, it would be in place of that. The other I have is this blue stripe. So, but I'm also toying with going to the shop. That's what I'm thinking, Teresa. This one is, it's actually a sheet, it's navy blue. These two, but these two don't match. So what I'm thinking is, um, I'm going to do the body. There's no butterflies. That's not butterflies. Oh, that one, no. That would be nice if it wasn't so stiff. But it's too stiff. So what I'm going to do today is get the body done. And then I can go down the street. Because I don't have a lot of materials. I These are just some that's been given to me over the time. That would be nice as a nicey because it, it's so soft. But that's what I've got to look for, something nice and soft and hangs nicely. So we're still in the not sure about the clothes yet stage. I've got these here. So now here's the pattern. Here's her arms and, and two hips. See, to do the face, I can. Trace them. I should really. I'm no good at embroidery. What's that say? Opening. Okay. You know, join paper pieces here. So what I've got to do first is cut these out. Turn the iron on. Ready to press the calico. Right. Let's cut this out. This scissors are a bit stiff. Yeah, I'm going to go to spotlight and get some softer material. I'm wondering if I can get a. I like gingham. I could look for a gingham. I like this that it's got these arms that you sew on afterwards. They're a lot. Um, it's going to be more like a doll. That one with his arms stuck out like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think so, yeah. Muslin, we get in different... Um, when we talk about muslin, as is like a very finely woven stuff, and it gets used for dishcloths and things like that, for wiping, you know, wet cloths for wiping things down and... So, but yes, I think it is what you call. Though I watched 
um, Stella. Is it Stella? I watched the other night. And where it says for this to get some pink flesh coloured fabric. Stella um, was making one of her dolls. And she put two teaspoons, two spoons of coffee in some water. And actually painted the calico. Once it was stuffed and then stuck it in the microwave to try it back out again and it looked really quite good. I could take a bit of calico in the other room and see how it um, it works I can't take, put any pink paint in a cup because I gave all my paints away I gave the paints away to my great grandson because he loves painting it was my great grandson's second birthday yesterday Harry Mason was two off the bottom because if I wanted to make her a bit longer I could do it by leaving that on it is growing up fast Teresa it's quite nice because um, by our new um, Kmart down underneath there are food shops you know takeaway type shops but there is one called um, muffin break it's just you can go there and have a cup of coffee and muffin and you know it's a cafe and my daughter and Sam and Mason go every time they go to Kmart stop off because Mason likes their little play corner that they've got and they approached the owner and said, could they hold the birthday party there? And they said, yes, they've never done it before. But they set it up and three o'clock we all had to be there. And they put um, partition up so we, it would show that it was going to be used not to and um, yeah, if I do that and that, and um, there was a tab on the coffees. I think they made mini muffins, and um, it went really well there. There was twelve adults. <laughs> the adults outnumbered the kiddies. Six, six little toddlers. But it really worked well there. My daughter, of course, made the cake. I didn't take any photos because I just went and sat down <laughs> at the way. But my daughter and John took a lot of pictures. So I'll get some of them for her. But yeah, it was a nice afternoon just for an hour all paper plates and the theme was Toy Story and Elaine made a cake and she bought a woody doll and a small one and he sat on the top so yes yeah, so it was quite nice then when it had all finished one of the other takeaways there is a sushi shop and of course I couldn't walk past that 
so I went and got a sushi, got a sushi. And um, brought that home for my tea. There we go. All the parts cut out. That's for the dress. So I don't need that yet. Need this calico. I want four of those and eight of the arms. Yeah, two, four, six, eight. Yes, two. Right, right. Let's iron some calico. It was a good day, Teresa. I enjoyed it watching the kiddies. They were only little toddlers. I mean, the time they were with all the hearty food. Eight of these leave open. Two, four, six, eight. Should put that out of there. So if I take that clump out of there. Just a smaller piece. Right. Don't need any more of that today? In that particular mark on it there. I'll try and miss that. I can't see what it is. It's closed. Inside when I do it. Four, six, eight. Two, 
really get that off the board. It's on here. that there. Once, eh? Hey. Come on a bit. Really, that's all. That's four. Silly me. doing Teresa keeping busy I recommend I stuff this one I don't stuff it quite so tight and then it'll be more cuddly Good. Do you know what I did last night? I've been copied Lizzie. I'm scrapping Lizzie. I've been trying some Zentangles, but my lines were ever so wonky. And I've suddenly realised why. Because I was using an art drawing book. And the paper is not smooth. And I think it was some paper that was sending my hand wonky. That's the excuse I'm using anyway. Yes, she is. Look. One, two, three, four. And she'll be that big. Not much difference in length, really. And then eight arms. It was, but I'm not very really good, Teresa. So I've got to practice. Practice, practice, practice. 
Lots of practice. What I need, I don't have the steady hand I used to have. I notice in my writing the same. So. I found out you and my good sister have something in common. What? What do we have in common, Teresa? We're both mad. Pimple popper shows. <laughs> Does she like them too? Oh, good on her. Good on her. See, she was the odd one out, girl. <laughs> oh, dear. We like our pimple popping shows. <laughs> Her hand. <clears throat> Ouch, pins. I hate pins. They always stick in me. Yep, she told me she watched them and I said, no way. She says she liked them and I told her. <laughs> Ouch. Eight pins, did I tell you? I hate pins. I always stick pins in me. <laughs> That's funny. Get on her. a face drawn that I can do easy because she's asleep and I just find something that's good like so what did I use before in the other room 
What have I got that's curved? I think here. I've got no paper to see through that. I don't think. Will ordinary copy paper see through it? Will it, will it, will it? Will it, will it, will it? Uh, no. I have to go and get some. Um, Or what do you mean? Do you think I should do it double thickness? I only used one fab, one piece on her. I'm going to take them eyes off. I think they're blooming awful. I've got to find something better than that. What is it? I've got to go and get some baking paper because I can't, I can't trace through that. See a in my hand is. Oh. Having bad eyes doesn't help. Now what do I do? Put it on there and then embroider it. Okay. How do I get it on there now? Hey, hey, hey. Trace around the head so you have the right placement. Okay. And if I had a pencil that was sharp, it would help. Let's 
See, I wobble off the lines. You know, I needn't have, um, I could have put this on the fold and they'd have been already joined like that, wouldn't they? Yeah. I didn't tell you to do that though. So, let's join the bodies. again a piece of scrap to run through the machine
Can they be turned so you can transfer your pencil marks? How do you mean to it? So how would I do that? The calico is the same both sides, if that's what you mean. sewn together anyway. Another piece the other end, don't I? Oh, it's not wax paper. no wax on it. Hold on, let me just do this and I can read it better. Hold on, Teresa, please. Right. Face the wax paper with the drawer. I wonder if I ironed it on, would it do it? This it. Let me just iron the seams. Come on, open up. bit hanging on the end. Oh, come on, come on, open up. Joint. Co joined twins. What happened there? Uh -huh. Easier said than typed. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to remember to leave an opening. And the bottom there. Right. Oh. 
Not. Definitely, Teresa, definitely. Far easier said than done. You know, in my teddy bear making days, I just sat and hand stitched all this. But because it's not my teddy bear making days, stitch here and as I'm stuffing it's going to be opening. Curves, haven't I? Let's see, it's still showing. Let's start here. Snip all the curves. Oops, that's no good, is it? <laughs> Let's 
now I'm not cutting the stitch in because I put my finger where the stitches are. This was how my mum told me to do it. these off Let's keep turning <coughs> Get the two edges together and then you know that you're going to be all right and snap That's how my mum taught me. More on the shoulder. Here. See what I'm doing, don't you? I did not. So my mum always did it. And she was putting sleeves in and everything. And it's rid of some of the bulk of the fabric too up in the Up in the curve. You just make sure you get the two edges together. There and there. On the curve. Leave your finger close to there because you're sewing and snip. Easy peasy. It's a bit of a big gap there, so so one there to uh, I went a bit close there to the edge. I see we've got a couple more people in. Welcome, whoever you are. Welcome to the... I'm just making the body of my upside down dolly. That will do. Yeah, we can turn it inside out. And 
Maybe I should lift a bit bigger hole. Right, where's my proddy stick? I put this on my one of my shows once and asked everybody what it was. I knew, but nobody else did. Nobody guessed what it was. Need a bit to see. It is for when you're stuffing animals, dolls, teddies, anything. You can use the narrow end or the wider end. Come on. Come on, come on. Talk a bit more. That's better. Here we go. And in there and push the seams. Here we go. Is this a nice round edge because of all those little clips I did? That was nice. shoulders up she is come on little girl get your shoulders up stitch there and it's coming under Traced up again already. <laughs> oh. That better. Quite a bit of steam on it. Smooth out soon anyway when the stuffing goes in. Hole there. That is not good. I 
Not good at all. Well. Let's see what it's like when it's stuffed, see what I can do with it. Just have a great red here. Uh, in the photo, you can see the shape. Do not do, 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 do. The body is a slave face. Your friend. First, make a fold in your fabric. Uh, anyway, I shouldn't have put a seam in it, but it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do though is start and sew the. hands together. Now where do they say to put there? Let me the straight. <laughs> Little hands. Right, let's sew these together. And at the end of it has it. Right. my foot again. These curves. backwards forwards. We've got make the same as that uh, let's see what you say. Oh, a bit upside down isn't it? <laughs> Mind of its own. Uh, 
That's better. <laughs> Douglas, no. <laughs> Excuse that one, that, ladies. That's my son. That's just my son. He likes to come in and cause havoc. <laughs> and bloody things. Oh, that's right. Where's this piece of cotton coming from? Gotcha. <laughs> I've decided that this one, Douglas, is not good enough. I hope you're not there so they can see what I'm doing. By the way, Douglas, I'm still poor. He's a cheeky boy. Sure is. Another hand. Of course, all these dollies look lovely till I come to do the faces. <laughs> I can't do faces. I ain't good at it at all. Am I? Some lots of money to have to start and buy a good sewing machine.
right. Another one done. Two more to do. I just stop and thought then why do I need two? Because I'm doing two dolls, you fool, you fool. Ah. more to do. You've been flying your new drone yet, Douglas?
that no you don't understand me there we go Dangerously close there. Don't do that. Let's do that there. Careful here. Thank you, Teresa. On these little things, you put your V's a little bit closer than on the bigger thing. I want to get to the shop now and buy some material. I might have time this afternoon to pop over there. Bits. 
been everywhere. Father's Day in the Medifer, isn't it, tomorrow? He's going to be turned. Diddly did, diddly did, 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 and another one bites dust. It's putting plaster on the thumb, is it? Pain. Oh, God, let's get it off. I can't get it off. Some of these plasters I stick when I turn it. Ooh. Oh, that's better. That's better. I usually have to. Have them on for a few hours. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In you go. That's gotcha. That's gotcha. Okay, Teresa. There we go. 
Um, of it now coming to the end. I'd like to do that. Body again, I'll say. One more to go. Okay, but that's not. Let's move it down a bit. Where did I push that? Yeah. Let's do a repair job. Do a weird repair job here. job I'm do the same on the body as well I went and push the stick through I did and now I've repaired that Thank you. 
Move and I know what I haven't done. Well, that's like that. Didn't do the snip. Has that? Doing that makes me want to do the same with this. They get sewn right through, Teresa. So they hang limp down the uh, let me get this out here. This out here. Go around this bit against where the hole is. Go for the bed here. Yeah. See the bloody thing. I have to find my big dolly needle to do it, Teresa. I've got one of them nice big long ones. Right, that's repaired that hole that I punched through there. That's cool now. Do that, that, and that. And it flat. Right. Oh. Right, let's do these hands. Here we go. Let's do some stopping. And I'm not overstuffing her. Overstuff the other one. Wasn't overstuff the hand down there because I've got to be able to sew on that. Oh, 
I neither like that. Really don't want to overstuff. Bit more. Right up there, a bit harder. Get a bit in the middle. Turn up. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it a lot softer. Trace, I went too heavy handed before. I wanted it flop more floppy. Then she could call a floppy flossy. <laughs> Bloody face, right? <laughs> so, don't get frightened it to death like this other one. Douglas told me it would frighten it to death. Douglas is fault. Douglas says. The reason I stuff so hard is when you make teddy bears, they tell you to stuff it hard. Probably, Teresa, another dang dog. <laughs> Poor baby girl, sitting there with her arms stuck out. <laughs> what was I thinking making that one? 
<coughs> well, she probably can. You know what I need? I want one of those pens. I wonder if they sell them in Spotlight. You, I'd have to go and have a look at the quilting department. You can draw a line with them, but you get rid of them. You know which one I mean, Teresa. Ruby uses that. And then I could draw the face, and if I make a mistake, I can get rid of it and do it again. That's what I need, so that's what I'll look for. I'll look for in a bit. Yeah. There we go. There's an arm, just got to hand sew the rest of that up. Yeah, let's see how much stuff we put in the dolly. He's coming apart at the middle seam anyway, which shouldn't be there. Never mind. in the head though to get the shape. Oh, nice. Is in the book, stuff your doll with the face side down and it will come out flat on the face side, which is what you want. Let's see. Let's see some more. Stop 
not. I hope they've got some cheap $5 material that hangs limp. She's going to need a bit of stuffing in the shoulders because the arms are going to be sewn in there. Oh, I've just done that and it's gone again. Patty, hi Patty. Welcome. You're supposed to be in blue, Patsy. Why aren't you? There you go, Patsy. Just giving you promotion. I am good, thank you, Patsy. Tired after being awake half the night, been as I was in movies for a bit. <laughs> to be really nice and shoulders to take the arms no you did did you Teresa <laughs> you was there in the lurk mode <laughs> Arms are going there like that. See? And the arms will go on. On these shoulders. Oh, 
I'm just going down the store, Patsy, to go and get us some nice material for a dress. I think that's better than how I did the other one. I didn't take a wee bit more, actually. I'm making an upside down doll, Patsy. I'll show you. I've already made one and I don't like it. See, I've made one. I made her. But Douglas says it'll frighten my granddaughter to death. See, <laughs> she's more like a scarecrow than a doll. <laughs> Poor babe. And then you pull that skirt over the head like that, and there's another dolly. There she's asleep. Never heard of them. Well, my great granddaughter had one last week on the video when I sent her a parcel up. And her mum said she wouldn't let go of it, and it wasn't hers, it belonged to the kindy. And they'd let her borrow it for the weekend. So I thought, well, I'll make a one, and I made this one. But we're not very happy with that one. I think I'm going to take them black eyes off there. But I don't know. And so I'm going to make this one. Which is going to be a wee bit fatter. And that's her go to sleep base. And there they are. I'm going to make her a little, little teddy too to hold on to. One of them little flat teddies. I wonder if I can draw one of them flat teddies. I doubt it. Oh, I could. I've drawn it. Um... I'll put that there like that. And if I went. And making fat. And there. I did I packed her solid so she was rock hard no good whatsoever his arm should be fatter than this let's make it fatter Ears. I know. We'll take it off like that, and then like that. That'll be like a little teddy when I finish it. <laughs> and then I'll attach it to. And a hand like that one. <sighs> How much do I want? I've got the flesh. Half a yard for the dress. Five eighths of a yard flannel fabric for the nightgown. Flannel. Nightgown and cap. 
the rest I've got. So if I just got a yard of each, a yard of each. Uh, by the time she's got a dress on. Two in one, yeah. I'd like to make it a bigger one, actually. I have to sort that out when I do some sewing. Well, ladies, I know I've only been here two hours, but I want to go to Spotlight. So, I'm going to have to leave here and get down there and get some nice soft material for the dresses. Now, thank you for coming in today, ladies. I'll hopefully try and get the dresses done tomorrow. I want a pen, don't I? I need a pen and I need a, a heat pen that, and two lots of material. Oh, and I could do with a nice bit of, I haven't got the right color wool for a hair. I've only got black and grey. I think that's what's made her look horrible with black hair. I need a yellowy colour. Make her blonde. So I will say good night to you all. Thank you all for coming. And I'll come back tomorrow and try and get her finished off. Mind you, the hand sewing I did on the other one took longer than the doll. <laughs> but never mind. So... Thank you all for coming again, as I say, and catch you tomorrow. Oh, don't I got to get in there. No, no, God bless to you all. Thanks for coming. Bye.